In this video, you will learn about batch conversion, which is a feature in Portfolio, which is a part of Bernina Embroidery Software 7. Batch conversion simply means that you're going to convert the ART70 format to multiple formats so that you can stitch designs out on various types of machines. You will need to have the software open to access Portfolio. Click on the drop down arrow next to the application launcher and choose Portfolio. It will take a few minutes to open Portfolio. After Portfolio opens, you may see a view like this or you may be missing your folder tree. If it's missing, simply click on the Hide Show Folders and that will give you the folder tree on the left. To open the folder tree, click on the plus signs and I'm drilling down to My Designs Embroidery Software 7. So I can choose any of the folders within the uh, My Designs folder and see what is housed in those folders. I also can have a USB stick and um, I can see what designs are on my USB stick. Likewise, I could have a design CD in my computer and it would also show what designs are available. Let's first create a new folder and sometimes if you're going to convert lots of designs you may want to do this and to create a new folder choose the destination where you want to put that folder and right click and select add folder and then type in the folder name. To get this back up where it belongs in alphabetical order I simply select the folder where I put that new folder and I right click and select refresh folder and that brings up the converted designs in alphabetical order. So let's take some designs from the floral folder and if I hold down the control key I can select multiple designs and there are two ways to convert designs. I can right click and select convert or I can go up to the icon and click on the convert icon. The destination folder is important to note and if you want to change that destination you simply go to browse and you can drill down to wherever you want those designs to go and click OK. So it's always a good idea to double check this to make sure it's going to go into the folder where you wish to place the designs. Your next job is to decide what kind of formats to convert it to. So you just it, Check the, the conversions that you want to do. Um, you do not have to hold down the control key to select multiples and then simply click OK. You get this question, would you like to record the results in a log file? And if you happen to be one that forgets where you put the files or you don't have a converted design folder, you might want to click on yes. And that converts the designs and opens up and has a notepad telling you which designs you converted as well as where they are stored. So now to find those converted designs we'll go to our folder and you can see the multiple formats that are here. Now, right now because we are in the thumbnail view we can't see what the different formats are so if we wanted to find out what format they were click on the view icon and choose summary and now that gives you the detailed information about the type of format and um, you are then able to select those designs that you want and let's say we want to place those two in, on our USB stick, we can right click and select copy and find our USB stick and right click and select paste. And now you can see those designs are there. I'll go back to the converted design and let's get this BMP file as well and right click and select paste. So you can you can add a lot of different files this way and now th those are on your USB stick ready to stitch out. Let's go back to our converted folder and say we were done with these and we wanted to get rid of them. I can select the first one, hold down the shift key, select the last one, 
right click and delete and it, you get the confirmation and once you delete if you want to refresh your screen just go in select the folder and refresh the folder and the designs go away.